What's up guys, it's me Mr. Bradley and you're tuning in to Learning Made Fun. If you're anything like me, which you're probably not, but if you were, you probably went through the education system learning about Roman numerals and pyramids. With one of those dang pyramid schemes. But you have zero knowledge of money, finances, and think inflation is probably something to do with a balloon. Hello, in saying that, I have a fantastic video on pyramids that you probably should check out. Anyway. In this STEAM video series, we're diving into the deep world of money, finance, and even cryptocurrencies. So buckle up there, folks, because in our first episode, we're unraveling the mysteries of money. Well, stay tuned. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. Money. Show me the money. Wait, why, why am I doing why am I doing that? Are we ever dare to? Money. It's what makes the world go round. Most of our lives revolve around money. I'm saying money a lot. It's how we pay for things like food, clothes, and these incredibly unnecessary toilet roll earrings, which you can use to dry your tears due to your lack of money or self-control. Come on. Shame on you. But what actually is it? And where exactly did it come from? And how did a worthless piece of paper become, well, worth so much? In today's video, we're learning all about the evolution of money. But before we begin, be a lamb and hit that subscribe button. Dang, freeload up and get ready to do the starter questions on your screen, all right? And now. Can't really do that transition. Just, just do the, just do this. Starter questions. Money is something that we use to trade for things that we need or that we want. We use money to buy items like food and toys, but we also use money to buy anything of value, such as paying workers for their skills and time, paying for entertainment, we pay for information, we even pay for unlocking new clothing in games like Roblox. I mean, I mean seriously, you're paying to organize light pixels in a certain order. But, where did it all begin? Okay, put in that dream harp effect, please. Long ago, people didn't have money. Okay, before we go any further, I think I better warn you that I've been busy experimenting with AI video generating software and, well, needless to say, some of the results are, well, they're a little bit terrifying. Oh my God, their arms are fusing! All right, moving on. Long ago, people didn't have money. Instead, they just traded the items themselves. This was called bartering, but there were problems with bartering. First of all, both people needed to want what the other person had. As an example, a farmer who- <laughs> What are you doing with your head? A farmer who wanted fish, uh, had to find a fisherman who uh, maybe wanted a bag of flour, which he could have given to that person. Also, what if you wanted one egg, but all you had to trade was a cow? What are you gonna do? Cut off its udder? Didn't think that through, did you, Egypt? One egg is clearly not worth the same amount as an entire cow, and you can't really cut the cow into smaller pieces, or, or can you? Sorry, Daisy, the jig is up. After a while, instead, people began to use smaller items to trade, like carrying around beautiful shells or gold nuggets, as you do. This was much easier as they could fit them in their pocket and was kind of the earliest form of money as we know it ever used. Fast forward in time and the very first metal coins were introduced and developed by a group of people called the Lydians in the seventh century BCE. Certainly after the invention of metal coins, trading became much simpler. People didn't have to find someone who wanted exactly what they had to offer. Hi, Mark Gill here for the Miracle Peeler, the new dual blade peeler that effortlessly peels on one side and easily duly ends on the other. No, we don't want your fancy vegetable peelers. And they could buy things even if they didn't have something to trade. Soon other civilizations began to take this on like the ancient Greeks and Romans who started making their own coins. They stamped them with special designs to show where they were from and how much they were worth. Fast forward a few, oh, I don't know, thousand years, and paper money has just been invented in China. I've been saying China. China? China. 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 
China. Paper money was first used in China during the Tang Dynasty, around the 7th century CE. The great thing about paper money was it was much lighter and easier to carry. But hang on a minute, paper is kind of, well, worthless. It's, it's paper after all, wouldn't you say? So if we're going to make paper the new money, then people are going to have to they're going to have to trust it. They're going to have to have a lot of trust in it. This is exactly why in the 17th to 18th century, banks across Europe began to issue a little paper note that kind of was like a promise that they would pay a certain amount of gold or silver on demand. These paper notes were called bank notes and became widely used and eventually led to the development of modern paper money or currency as we know it. In the 1950s, the very first credit card was introduced in the USA, allowing customers to pay for things without having paper cash. The old beepity beep beep and your money's gone. This spread more and more across the world until the early 2000s, when just about everybody was using a credit or debit card. And then there's today. Today, money is becoming more and more digital. People are carrying around less and less cash or paper money, and instead are using online payments and credit cards to pay for things. New currencies or money are popping up all over the world, such as cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Cryptocurrencies are kind of like a digital money that use a special technology called cryptograph cri cryptography, called crypt cryptography, which keeps your money and transactions safe, secure, and private. All right, now that you've learned all about the evolution of money, why not do the Steam activity where you design your very own comic book strip showing the evolution of money, starting from bartering, trading shells, gold, coins, paper money, credit cards, and finally, digital money like cryptocurrencies. And you'll be happy to know that these differentiated resources can all be found on our Teachers Pay Teachers website, ready to rock, for a fun and engaging lesson. All right, guys, we've come to the end of our video about the evolution of money. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out some of the other videos on my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.